So I just did that whole video with no fucking audio on me mic. Sorry from vaping and being an arsehole, I just... It didn't work. That was a long ass video too. That was a long ass video, that's why I need this uh, nicotine and drink. But anyway, how's your week been, people? <laughs> Any good? Good times? I, my last week's been, um, well, I think I drank too much, like, last cider, uh, cider, <laughs> so I'm drinking now, last uh, Saturday, but, like, Saturday morning, so, like, Sunday, really, you know, so, it's Saturday today, so, yeah, it's about a week, if I was to go mental tonight, then it would be the same twice in a week. Either way, the point is, I'm trying to say is, uh, I talked to somebody who lives in Canada. Only person I talked to that night, because nobody else was online. And uh, I might have said stuff like, um, I don't know, like suicidal shit, you know. I shouldn't have said that. And yeah, if people are. Like, going to put comments, like, down there saying you shouldn't have said that and, oh, leaving dislikes or whatever. Yeah, I, I understand. I shouldn't have said that. And, um, thank God. Like, I mean, I don't fucking believe in God. I'm an atheist, but I'm just going to say thank God because that's the kind of shit I say. Thank God he cared enough to, um, talk to me. Because he called, he, he called me right down and, like, uh, sorted us out. But, um, same time, I think think he probably got the crisis team at me door the next day so I'm lying in bed like you know passed out after like stupid amounts of cans and benzos <laughs> so I woke up like, just, like uh, what the fuck and I was like bam 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 in fact it was like you know the typical um hopefully you can hear that and then it was and then it was it's the police! And I was like, fuck, what have I done? What have I done? Because I don't know what I've fucking done. Maybe I've done something. And they came in, the crisis team, and they're like, so you, you don't feel like killing yourself? No. And they asked that in like 20 different ways. You know what I mean? Like, that's how it works. But in the end, they the left, the deemed I was fine. And then, uh, was it like seven days later, well, 12, sorry, not 12, eight days later, I'm getting the police at my door again, but this time it's for accusations of, uh, by the way, from the same night I was talking to that guy in Canada, this is unrelated, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's got nothing to do with the guy in Canada, that was like stomping around, like s smashing my feet off the floor. Saying I was going to slip me fucking downstairs neighbor's neck open? Like, what the fuck? I never said that. Look, I, I like a lot of fucked up shit. Like, like Metal Gear Solid 5, you slip people's throats open. Rambo, fucking heads get chopped off. Fucking stuff like that. I could have even been just joking on the f on my phone to my friends. Like, just talking about chopping someone's head off or even mentioning the fact that it wasn't me that was going to do this that this guy didn't get his prescription on time that he was going to fucking get a machete and chop people's heads off but no the police came around today and said um, um, well they came in and said can we sit down I was like well I was thinking to myself I've got no choice yet he, come on come on in and uh, they sat down and said, um, we've had an allegation, al uh, whatever the fuck, um, you know, that you've been violent. And I was like, violent? How? I never leave the house. I don't speak to anyone. I've got no friends. I don't, I don't do anything. I'm alone. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't do fuck all. Like, 
I didn't swear at them. And they're like, right, okay, um, just looking at you and looking at your computer and stuff like that, I can probably see how this happened. You know, like you're probably playing a game, got a bit annoyed, shouted a bit, something like that. We're going to go back to the station. We'll be, you know, write up a report. It'll be about 90 minutes and we'll come back. You know? <coughs> so they came back with literally just one page of questions. But the allegation was that I was stamping on the floor saying I was going to slit my fucking downstairs neighbor's neck open. That is not what I fucking said. Not what I said at all. And if she can hear that clear as day through the floor. Nah, there's just no way she could hear that. Even if I did say that, there's no way she could fucking hear it. So, yeah. It's been my week. Seven, eight days after... um. The crisis team was there to make sure I didn't kill myself. There was other police here to try and arrest us. But they just took one look at me and said, you're too fucked up to come, even come down to the station to record the, you know, fucking fly. Um, you know what I mean? Like the this thing. They didn't even record the conversation when they came here. You know, see that, that sofa, chair, whatever. They sat there. And we just had a conversation. It's like, did you say you were going to do that? I was like, if I did say anything like that, it would have been in reference to like Rambo or like, you know, like Assassin's Creed or like Metal Gear Solid Five, or just like talking to friends on a phone. It has nothing to do with her. I, I even said, after this, you probably got to talk to her one more time. So when you do talk to her, let her know. I wouldn't hurt a hair on her fucking head. I fucking stood on a snail the other night because it was pitch black. And I feel fucking bad about that. And yet, I would slit somebody's throat open, yeah? Nah. Impossible. I mean, I know I look crazy. Shaved head, beard, might look a bit mad, but I'm not. Look around my room. We got an electronic drum kit over there. If anyone wants to fucking buy it, fucking let us know. Because I can't use it. If if I even hit the fucking pads, I'll get a fucking noise complaint. Might as well get rid of the cunt. And that's actually the. Harsh swear, harshest swear word I've used this whole time. My God, I just, I just hope all your weeks, well, your last weeks have been better than mine in total, or like the last eight days or whatever. I mean, because when you hear a knock at the door, you think, oh, it's the postman, but when you say like high vis jackets, nah, not, not so much. That's the thing about having a beard. Loves to collect your alcohol. Yeah, I think after I fucked up the first video where I went on for way longer, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say. It's just a piss take. The neighbour on me left, or oh, that way, um, he's sound with me. The neighbours on the other side don't give a shit. It's just a fucking... Um, in fact, I don't care. I'll call her. She's a bitch. If she's going to complain about fucking me talking in my kitchen at half two in the morning, like, quiet in this. Like, you know, like, um, people send me a message on, on my phone, like, WhatsApp, but it's like Telegram. So, like, I'll be talking about, like, oh, yeah, so how's it going? Like, uh, like, what are you up to? Like, how's it going? Type of thing. And I leaned into the microphone there. Is that so bad? Is that really so bad? Considering, like, you know... I don't know. I could do way worse. It just pisses me the fuck off, man.
That's all I've got to say for right now. It really is. If there's any new developments, I'll let you know. I would have loved to have something else to talk about right now. But I don't. I'm sorry about that. I just had a really, 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 really fucking bad time. I mean, yeah, I mean, my dad came over the other night and we watched Rambo First Blood. And he loved it. Even though he was like, <clears throat> I've seen all the Rambo movies. Uh. But then when he watched the first one, he was like, that's really fucking good. So, you know, every two weeks he's going to come over and watch a film. Next time it's his turn, but next time I'm putting Rambo 2 on, or First Blood Part 2, I don't care. Anyway, everyone have a good time. I'm sorry for being uh, such a fucking downer on everybody, but what the fuck? I mean, I really don't know what the fuck. Does she just want a different upstairs neighbour? Hey, we can get somebody else in. That's what you could be listening to every fucking second of every day. You're lucky you've got me. For fuck's sake. Anyway, ta-da.